the magic mushroom stitch pattern was so popular that I've reimagined it in the round. Use this technique to eliminate side seams like on a sweater or bag, but for our practice project we'll turn a 20 ounce plastic bottle into a useful accessory. It's a cool way to reuse resources and make a great gift too. In the companion pattern, I've included instructions to adjust the size of the cover to fit any round bottle up to 2 liters. You can download the pattern by following the instructions in the video description below. Choose at least 3 colors and let's start. I'm using Crafter's Secret Cotton, a 4 ply yarn and an H crochet hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a slip knot, putting it on my hook, pulling it up relatively tight and chaining two. One, two. In the second chain from the hook I'm going to insert my hook because I'm going to work seven single crochets into that. But here's a little secret. I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook counterclockwise and I'm going to work around through the chain and under that extra strand of yarn. And I'm going to work seven single crochets into that one chain. Now, I'm just going to take my yarn tail and pull it up and it closes that loop. Now I'm on to the second round, but I'm not going to close this with a chain or anything. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to turn it either. I'm going to go right into the top of the first single crochet in the round and I'm going to work two single crochets. One, two, and I'm going to work two single crochets in every stitch around. One, two. I'm going to start my next round and in the very first stitch I am going to put two single crochets. Now I'm going to count back and I'm going to mark the first single crochet so I have my round that's my start of my round, so I know this is the last stitch of the round before. Okay, so now I'm going to work one single crochet in the next stitch, two in the next, one in the next, two, and then one. So what I'm doing is I'm increasing every other stitch. Two and then one. When I get to the end of the round I will have 21 stitches because I had started with seven I added seven on the first round which made it 14 now I'm adding seven more on this round which makes it 21. We want to work in multiples of seven. Now notice in my last stitch I'll be putting a single one. Perfect! We should have 21. Okay, take our stitch holder off, our stitch marker off, and now we're going to start round four. In the very first stitch I'm going to work two single crochets. And I'm going to take my marker back and mark the first one so I know when to end. Then I'm going to work two single crochet, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then two in the next one, one in the next one in each of the next two. So I'm spreading out my increases. I'm still doing seven increases but I'm spreading them out evenly across the round. 
This one is a double in this one. One, two, and then one in each of the last two. Okay, that now we have 28. Take off our st stitch marker and start our row with two in the first one. Now, if you recall, we had two in the first one and two, one in each of the next two. Now we're going to do one in each of the next three. But before I go on, I'm going to mark my first stitch in the round. Okay, so one, two, and three. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches, then two in the next stitch. Once again, we're increasing seven stitches. That'll give us 35 stitches. And that's 35 stitches. Now let's compare it to our 20 ounce bottle. Oh, definitely. Once you've decided you've got enough stitches, we are going to slip stitch into the very next stitch. What that does is it evens off this round because on the next round we're going to be doing rounds, not a spiral. Okay, so I'm chaining one, then in the back loop of each stitch around I am going to work one single crochet. So I'll still have 35 single crochets around, but the reason I'm putting it in the back loop is so that it turns, it gives it a very nice turn. The front loop of the single crochet creates a very nice edge to create the bottom of the cover. Okay, here's our last stitch. Okay, now on this one I'm going to slip stitch under the top two loops of the first stitch in the round to close that round. Now, if you can see how neatly that puts a little border on the stitch. Now, before we move on, we are going to double check to make sure that it fits our bottle appropriately. Oh yes, this is going to be perfect. And now I'm going to start the first row. But this is still what I call a transition round. Be, because um, you're just setting it up for the actual full mushroom pattern. So we're going to chain one. At the base of the chain we're going to work one single crochet. Then we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work seven double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and seven. Now we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work, we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop in that stitch and then in the next stitch I'm going to pull up a loop. So I have three loops on my hook. This is a single crochet two together and I'm going to pull them together. Then I'm going to skip two more and work seven double crochets in the next stitch. This two, I have one extra stitch here and I already have my single crochet there. So what I'm going to do is one, two, I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch that I'm supposed to put a sing, uh, single crochet of two together. I'm going to pull up the loop, but I'm going to jump over to this first single crochet and I'm going to use that and tie them together. There. Now I have a join. So 
because I had 35 stitches. This is the inside. Because I had 35 stitches, I will have, it's a multiple of seven, so I will have five mushrooms around this particular bottle. So let's just try it. It fits great. At this point, we're going to cut our yarn and pull our end through. And before we move on, we want to weave the end in. Now we're going to add our second color. Now this is the outside, as you know, and we're going to turn our work. We are going to find the center double crochet of any of the seven double crochet shells. So one, two, three, four. That would be the fourth one. We're going to insert our hook under both loops and pull up a loop with our new color. Then we're going to chain one. Drop off the end. We'll weave that in later. And then we're going to work a single crochet at the base of that chain one. So we have a single crochet there. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to go to the very the stitch right between the shells, right in the depths of that little valley. And in that, we're going to work a cluster. How you do a cluster is you yarn over as if you're going to do a double crochet, insert, pull up a loop, and pull, yarn over and pull through two. Just like you're going to do a double crochet, but you're not going to complete the double crochet. So we have one extra loop on the hook. We're going to do that a total of four times. So this is the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. Here's the fourth one. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. Now we've got to get over to the top of this shell. So we're going to chain three more. One, two, three. And in the very top of that shell, we're going to just work a single crochet. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And in the depth between the shells, in the little deep valley between the shells, we're going to work another cluster. So I yarned over it, yarn over and pull through two. Two loops on the hook, three loops on the hook, four loops on the hook, and here's our fourth incomplete double crochet. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Another cluster made. Chain three, and we're going to go around our entire row just like this and in the top of that single crochet which is tight we're going to do a slip stitch we're ready for pattern row two so we're going to chain one and turn the reason you turn after every row is because you'll otherwise your your mushrooms will start tilting to the side now we're going to work two single crochets into the next space. Then we're at a cluster. Now this is the stitch of the cluster right there, but I'm going to go into the stitch before the cluster and I'm going to pull up a loop. Then I'm going to go into the stitch of the cluster and pull up a loop. See that? So I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. You just did a single crochet two together over the cluster. What that does is it straightens out the natural tilt of the cluster. Two more single crochets in the next space, one single crochet in the top of that single crochet, and then two single crochets in the next space. Then we're at another cluster. So let's do a single crochet two together over the cluster. Insert the hook, pull up a loop. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and see how it's over the, 
the center part of the cluster, but it's actually the stitch before the cluster and the cluster at the end. See, this is our beginning of the row. So we're going to do a single crochet, two single crochets into that space, and a slip stitch together to end it. Now, as I'm doing the first rows, I'm always checking my bottle because I, you know, there's a certain tension on each of the rows, and I think that's perfect for that. This is pattern row three. So, before we do anything else, we chained one and we're turning. Now, we're going to skip the first two, and in the next stitch, we're going to work seven double crochet shell. We're going to work a shell, which is seven double crochets. So we're putting the mushroom cap right over the stem. Then we're going to skip two more, and in the next stitch, we are just going to do a slip stitch. Skip two more, and work another shell in the top over the stem. Let's go back to here, and that's our first slip stitch, and so we're just going to slip stitch into that slip stitch. Now, isn't that cute? Now I'm going to cut my yarn because I finished my round and I finished my mushroom. I'm ready to start my next mushroom. Turn the work even between color changes and just repeat pattern rows 1, 2, and 3. Start row 1 by inserting the hook in the center stitch of any of the shells. Every so often, put the intended bottle into the cover to determine how many rows of mushrooms are needed. Make sure to end after pattern row 2. This gives you a nice, firm, flat edge to add the strap. How to make the basic strap will be covered in another video. I hope you enjoyed making the magic mushroom in the round. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Happy crocheting!